Welcome in this video in which we are going to see how to use projects and templates. When you create a project, you have to choose what we call a template. A template is a project model. In each template you can have different kind of information already existing in this template. I'm going to choose isa free TPL and I'm going to give a name to my project which will become my own template. Um, in this project I'm going to create a function block. I will write it in ST and I call it my FB. In the local dictionary I'm going to create the inputs and the outputs of my function block. So I create two boolean inputs and one boolean output. I have to choose the direction Okay, and I save my function block. Then I'm going to create some variables. My var1, my var2. Okay, so I'm going to compile now my solution. Okay, it's done. So my project actually is in a default uh, folder of the Isagraphsys project. I have to copy in my project folder some files contained in an uh, already made template. So I will go to the default path of the Isagraph template. I will open one of these templates and I will copy these two files into my project folder. Okay, so if I go back in my project folder, I see these two files. Uh, I have to edit one of these files, which is the VS template file, and inside I have to replace all the isafree TPL names by the name of my project. So I will replace with test template. I replace all and I save this file. I close this. Now I have to create a zip file with all the information in my project folder. So I will use WinZip for example and I create this zip file that I have to move in the default folder of the Isagraph 6 templates. Here, I passed it. Okay, so now my template is in this template folder. I have to set up the workbench in order to install this new template and when it's done I can open again my workbench. I'm going to create a new project and I see in the template list my template. So I create a project based on this new template and I see that in my new project I have already my function block with the input and the output and if I go in the global dictionary I'll, I see that my variables are already here. In this solution I can also add an existing project. So I'm going to select this project. So now I have two projects in my solution and I can also create a new one, a new project based on another template. Here we go. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or supereurope at isagraph.com.